everyone. Welcome to Chef Shelly's Kitchen. Well, as you all know, I absolutely enjoy when I'm able to have a guest. And today, Betsy Horth is here to teach us. Um, it sounds like a family um, recipe, tradition. You mm -hmm. want to tell us a little bit about it? My grandmother, uh, Jenny Eliza Barr, was in Tremont, Pennsylvania, and this is the, the bed of Pennsylvania Dutch area, slightly on the edge of it. And Hershey. And Hershey. <laughs> Chocolate. And Hershey chocolate. Yes, it is. And she had a friend, Beulah Folds, and these started off as coconut cream, chocolate covered coconut cream eggs. Oh, that wow. whenever we visited my grandmother, we get her stash, and then she'd take us over to Beulah's, and we start hunting around her house for them. Oh my God. But, um, we just love them, and then my mother made them, and I've made them since for my children, Okay. and now I'm making them with my granddaughter. Oh, what a beautiful story yes, and tradition. Pretty. I can't wait to, um, to check these out. So um, what all do we have here? I see we've got some various ingredients. You want to tell us what the ingredients are, and then what, what we sure. need to do? Uh, very simple, which is why you can do it with grandchildren and almost anybody. Yes. So you have a stick of butter. Okay. Uh, about four ounces of cream cheese. Okay. A box and a half of confectioner sugar. All right. And coconut. Okay. Now the coconut is, a little, you could do a little more or a little less, depending mm -hmm. on how coconut you like it okay um the first recipe i did i didn't put in as much okay second time around i thought i wanted more coconut oh nice okay. and okay. there's always the vanilla to of add course. just that little bit okay uh, with this which is step two mm -hmm. you have your favorite ghirardelli yes, chocolate there are my ghirardelli chocolates already starting to melt um, so after these cool after we make them into balls, and after okay. they cool, then we're going to dip them in here okay. and cool them again. Very nice. That's Very all. nice. That's nice. Simple and sounds totally delicious. So what do we need to do to get started? Okay, so first thing I'm going to do is take the melted butter, and it's soft butter. It's okay. not melted. Okay. And I think we put it in the microwave because we took it right out of the refrigerator, and we put it in the microwave for um, just about 20 seconds, okay? Just keep an eye on it, okay? And if you're not, if you know you're gonna do this in the day, take the butter out early in the morning, oh, and when good. you get to it, then it's just naturally soft. And I do the same thing with the cream cheese. Very nice. So then I'm gonna take the mixer and think. Yeah. I always start off low. Okay. And move to a higher speed. Use that. Okay. But I'm I try to blend these together really well. Yeah. Nice and fluffy looking. It is. Okay. So then we're gonna add the half teaspoon there you go. of vanilla. Nice. We've actually have the recipe today because if you make the full amount, mm -hmm. you've got like a hundred. Yeah, these so that's really true. I'm glad she brought that up. So um, this will make about how many? I'd say about forty. This half. Okay. So if you want to make eighty, then just double the recipe. And again, it depends okay. on the size. You can yeah. make little balls or you can make larger balls. Okay. They're very rich, so the little ones work out better. Okay. Okay, so what's next? We're going to start to put this you in. You want me to pour it while you're holding okay. it? Okay, that would be great. I'll be your, your sous chef. Fantastic. And that's just the amount to put in at the time. So if you okay. Fantastic. Boy, I want to cook with you all the time. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, this is so much easier. Yeah. And You've got to get that husband of yours helping you. Okay, next. <laughs> and by the way, Betsy is the wife of a very dear friend and co-worker, David Ford, another guest from CCL. I think everyone's going to be like, is the whole company going to be on your show? Probably. <laughs> okay, we can take some more. Pause for a moment. 
Sure. This is what it's looking like at this point. Nice. And one of the way, one of the reasons we talked about this is about using a big bowl is so we don't have the powder yes. going all over. That's a really good point. Okay. Once more. Okay. I like your mixer. Believe it or not, that is my husband's mixer. Okay. That standing on its side. There it is. See what I'm slip. saying? That's why I thought, no, you've got something here. <laughs> Take a fork here and okay. fluff this up so and it doesn't we've go got up. just about four ounces here, I think you said. Well, is this actually, I cheated. We're, is this a little extra? Okay. Yeah, I like a lot of coconut, okay. so. So I'm not going to use all of it at this point because I okay. actually had about six ounces. In oh there. wow! Okay. So I'm, I'm going more for the four. Oh, to and five. then you're mix you're mixing it with that. I am. Oh, okay. I don't think I've ever mixed coconut with a hand mixer, but you're on low, so nice. It's nice and creamy. She wants to get every little bit out. Okay, so now at this point, mm -hmm. that's your ejector. Yeah. I don't want to use that. At this point, we need to refrigerate it again. Okay. And then how long do we keep it? It's too in there? soft. Okay. To turn into balls. We oh, have, yeah. We do the balls with our hands. Yes. And a yeah. Little mess. So I would say if you're going to. They say up the recipe always said an hour in the fridge. Yeah, I'll do two hours in the fridge and maybe an hour or close to an hour in the freezer. Okay, all right. And I take it and I put it into oh, a bowl. Oh, put it like a little like ball that. like that, and then put it in the freezer. Okay. All right. So we're gonna um, pause the camera for now. We're gonna let it do its thing in the freezer and refrigerator and then when it's ready we'll come back and um, dip some in that Ghirardelli. Sounds good. All right we'll be right back. Okay so we've had a chance to now let the uh, mixture cool. It was in the refrigerator for about an hour um, and then just for brevity of time um, we went on with our hands and um, made all of the balls as you can see here and then we're able to clean that up and you can see um, they're perfect balls thanks to Betsy and so now what do we do we're gonna put them back in the freezer for another hour or okay. in the refrigerator okay. for a couple hours and one of the nice things about this because it's in so many stages mm -hmm. you could come back tomorrow okay or if it's in the freezer come back in a couple of days okay that's um, nice I have frozen them at okay. this stage in a locked um, container oh and then brought them back out mm -hmm. when I wanted to mm -hmm. and put the chocolate on them okay so this is something that you can spread out a yeah. whole long time or get it all done in one day Wow really flexible okay so um, what are we gonna do now we're going to put these in the fridge. All right, we'll put them in the fridge and we'll be back. Okay, so um, we've had a lot going on since we were back on. Um, we put the mixture into the refrigerator and then just walk us through the two stages of the refrigerator and freezer and just kind of how we got here. Okay, so the once it's all together, mm -hmm. we put it into get it cold enough to make these balls. Right. And then we hand created Rolled these, them. put them back on wax paper, and put them back in the refrigerator to yeah. cool. Yes. Now that they are firm, mm -hmm. we're going to do the final step. Yeah. Except for eating. Yes. And uh, <laughs> dip them in a chocolate. Yes. Now the old-fashioned way of doing this, because this recipe comes from the 1940s or even earlier, mm -hmm. and they didn't have 
microwaves, microwaves is to use a double boiler. So that's what we're doing right now. And when she's saying a double boiler, um, there's actually water underneath this. So it sits like that, um, just for people who may not know what a double boiler is. Um, what I do to melt my chocolate, so you can absolutely do that, and I know lots of people, I know my good friend Deborah does not use a microwave. This is how you'd want to likely melt your chocolate um, instead of putting it on the heat directly. Um, for those of you that do use a microwave, you can just put it in a microwave safe dish, and um, I typically will put it in for 30 seconds stir it up make sure the texture is is thin enough syrupy like if i need a few extra i'll add another 10 seconds or so and then it's ready so um so we were talking actually during the break about um dipping these in chocolate we actually did one already because we wanted to test to make sure the chocolate was ready and it was hot enough and it looks good and so i'm going to now um show you you want me to show you how i do, I do mine i do for me it was all self-taught yes and it's always very messy and not very good yes but shelly has an incredible technique well and i'm not i can't take credit for it because i saw it like on a show <laughs> <laughs> i was watching a cooking show and so they were saying instead of because i used to dip um things like this with a spoon and then so much chocolate is still left in the spoon. So now, so Betsy, I'm going to do one and then you get to do it. I just take them now and drop them in the chocolate, roll it around a little bit, make sure it's fully covered. And then I just dip it out. And then this way you don't have all that extra chocolate. So here, you want to try? I do. Try one yourself. And I didn't know this, guys, but we actually have like an actress, professional, who's Shh. done commercials. So no expectations. <laughs> Show me what to do. <laughs> well, since my secret's out, I'll yes. also tell you I tell did us. a really bad movie once. Oh, wow. And it actually has a cult it. following. It's called really? Shadow Creature. And oh, my gosh. I did that drop way back when. You. Uh, oh my gosh. But I was the secretary to the old guy, to the bad guy. <laughs> when was this? Oh, I lived in Buffalo, so let's say 1980s. Oh my gosh. All right, so I've got to go and check this out. We've got an extra. I'm going to make sure I get a signature um, <laughs> no, no, autograph, no, no. rather, is what I should say. So just for purposes of the camera, we didn't this is take... easy. Isn't it easy? So much easier than trying to use spoons and toothpicks. Oh, my God. Um, so we didn't put out all of the balls because we wanted to be able to pretty much just show you how to do this. Um, so um, we had close to, like, like you said, close to 40 balls. Mm -hmm. With this size, if you make them smaller, you can get some more. If you make them larger, and these are about um, what was the size you measured these about? They're about an inch. About an inch. I go for three quarters of an inch, and they're always just a little bit larger because the, it's almost impossible to make them tiny. Okay. But this way, they're two bites. Yes, nice. They get stored in the refrigerator in an airtight container and they will last a very long time. Okay, what's a very long time? Well. How long is very long? A couple of months. Oh, wow, a oh my gosh, time. okay. If you don't eat them all up. Okay. And yeah, I have a husband not, who's a chocoholic. Yeah, that's not. Um, now, I'm wondering as, you know, I know these are covered in coconut, is this something that you would, you could also, if you were really a coconut freak that right now you could sprinkle some coconut on it before it could be set. interesting Why yeah not? i was thinking that might be a <laughs> so a way to do it as well original recipe called to add a little bit of wax like paraffin cooking yeah. grade and what we've done we've altered the recipe yes. and we're using the pure gerardelli yeah so i suggest that um you let them cool yeah, in we're the refrigerator cool. before yeah. we bite to bite into them yeah but the edges will become hard yes much like the chocolate before it's melted yes now typically like when i make my peanut butter balls i will put them in the refrigerator 
for about 20 minutes and they're ready. Yep. Is that about how yep. much here? Okay, so should we do that? Should we put it in the refrigerator and um, come back? Sounds good. Is that what we're gonna do? All right, we'll be back 20 minutes. Okay, so 20 minutes or so, look at that. Wow. These are beautiful. We've just taken out a few. As you know, we had a full tray of them, um, but just a little sample here. Whew. I am so ready to try this. And I'm ready to watch you try it. You're going to have one too? Are you I, will, one too? I will. Okay. I will. I'm nervous. <laughs> no, I'm nervous. <laughs> they look so delicious. Okay. Let's try. You're supposed to try it with okay. me. Okay. <laughs> okay. Mmm. It's almost like a mound. Yes. It's like a mound, but with mm -hmm. a um, harder crust. Mm -hmm. Oh, I love this. Mm, me too. Oh my God. This is so delicious. Mm. You better try them. Don't do it while you're on a diet because you're probably going to need to take a few of these. We're supposed to eat these like one a day, right? Yes. Um, and the nice thing about it, you told me this, is that you can freeze the balls and then put the coating on it when you're ready. Mm -hmm. So think about that because these are rich, they're delicious. Um, oh boy, mm. I could see eating quite a few of them and that's not a good thing for my waist. <laughs> these are great party favors, mm -hmm. I would say. Holiday, mm -hmm. um, giveaways or anything like that. So, Or take them to the office and you have a lot of new best friends. Oh, I know, I know. Mm. Thank you so much. Oh, thank you. This for has being been a lot of fun. Me. You're wonderful. I'll take a hug. Oh, I'd love one. Mm. Thank you guys for tuning in. Thank you. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Just click on the picture in the circle. Stay tuned for future episodes. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Woo.